there's a profound truth that many fear to acknowledge, that the most formative battles are fought alone, away from the eyes of the world, in the hushed serenity of solitude. It is there, in the darkness of the night, that I waged my wars, without fanfare, without witnesses. I tell you this not to seek your pity, for there is no sorrow in my solitude, but to ignite a spark of rebellion against the comforting lies of daylit camaraderie. The night, with its unyielding silence, does not seduce with sweet words or promises of glory. Instead, it challenges you with its void, asking, who are you when no one is watching? I embrace that challenge while others lay asleep, dreaming of their aspirations. I was awake. I was awake, actively sculpting my reality from the shadows. The darkness was not my enemy, but my ally, for it stripped away the distractions of the daylight, allowing a pure focus that is not afforded to those who fear to tread away from the sun. In the solitude of the night, I learned the hard truths of self-reliance. There were no hands to hold, no cheers to spur me on, only the relentless echo of my own heartbeat, urging me not to falter, not to relent. I discovered that true growth, real enduring growth, comes when you're too far in the depths to see the surface. Let me be clear, when you embark on your journey in the dead of night, you will encounter moments of doubt and despair. When the darkness feels more like a shroud than a shield. In those moments, remember that it's only in the deepest dark that the stars shine brightest. Your eyes will adjust, your senses will sharpen, and what was once hidden in the night will come brilliantly to life. So to those who find themselves standing on the edge of their own daunting nights, I say, do not fear the solitude, embrace it. Harness it. Let it teach you who you truly are when stripped of the day's comforting illusions. And when you finally emerge from the night, having fought your battles away from the applause and the acclaim, you will know the profound satisfaction that comes not from external validation, but from the undeniable truth that you did it alone. As I stand here tonight, sharing this moment with you, under the flicker of these dim lights. Know that my journey through the night has been my greatest teacher. It can be yours too. Let the darkness be not your prison, but your cocoon. For only in the solitude of its embrace can you truly transform. And when you emerge as I have, you will not just say, I survived the night. You will declare, in the darkness of the night, I was reborn. I did it alone, and therein lies my power. Now, let me tell you this. The path of solitude is not merely about enduring. It is about mastering the art of thriving in the absence of light. It is about finding your own rhythm in the silence, your own pace in the stillness. Each step taken in the darkness hones your will, sharpens your spirit, because every decision, every movement, is yours and yours alone. The world teaches us to fear isolation, to seek constant companionship, to drown out our inner voices with the noise of the crowd. But there is a potent, undeniable power in learning to stand completely alone. In the darkness, stripped of all distractions, you are the architect of your destiny. Each moment of solitude is a brush stroke on the canvas of your life, painted without guidance, forged without consensus. In the night, every whisper of doubt must be confronted and conquered by none but yourself. There is no place to hide from your fears, no shadows deep enough to conceal your insecurities. It is here, in this stark reality, that you face the ultimate test of your resolve. And when you pass this test, as you surely must, you forge an indomitable spirit capable of weathering any storm. 
This journey of mine through the deep night has been a crucible. The lessons learned in its depths are etched into my soul, not just as memories, but as cornerstones of my very being. These lessons have shaped me into a relentless force, a solitary titan walking confidently through the shadows, knowing that the night no longer holds dominion over my fate. So to you, standing at the precipice of your own dark nights, I offer not comfort, but a challenge. Seek not the light for safety, but embrace the darkness for the profound clarity it can provide. Let the quiet of the night teach you about your true potential, which lies buried beneath layers of societal expectation and self-doubt. Discover your strength in the solitude of the night and let that discovery echo through every aspect of your life. Step into the darkness. Let it envelop you, test you, change you. Then, and only then, can you truly understand the power of your own light, a light that is not dimmed by the coming of the dawn, but is instead defined by it. And when dawn does come, as it inevitably will, you will step into the light, not as a survivor of the night, but as its conqueror. You will step forward, not seeking validation, for you have proved everything that ever needed proving to yourself in the darkest hours. You will know the profound peace that comes from having faced the abyss and having found not emptiness, but an unshakable core of resolve and strength Remember, the night does not need to be your enemy, nor does it need to be your grave. It can be your sanctuary, your workshop, your proving ground. Embrace it fully and let it transform you. Then emerge from it not just victorious, but transformed, enlightened by your own courage and fortified by your solitary conquest. Stand tall, embrace your journey, and let the world see what wonders can be wrought in the darkness of the night. For those who dare to walk alone, find not just paths but horizons that others never will. <laughs>